Welcome back, little monkey fans. Today, my little monkey and I are going way up to the treetop toy box for a Playmobil extravaganza. We have the Summer Fun Hotel and five, that's right, five add-on sets. If you can believe it, there are a total of 1,107 pieces when we combine all these sets together. Are you ready to explore what each set has to offer? I know we are. Let's get building. Here is a humongous Playmobil Summer Fun Hotel. It is a two-story hotel set, and it is absolutely huge. It has 785 pieces, so that means a whole lot of building that we need to do. So let's open it up and check out what each of the rooms look like. And here it is, the Summer Fun Hotel is finally put together. This massive set of 785 pieces took us a little bit to put together, that's for sure. It is absolutely humongous. It is so big and it looks like hundreds and hundreds of super cool accessories. As you can see, this is a two-story hotel and it is full of windows and it has a whole bunch of beautiful palm trees along the front. And it even has an elevator. And at the front door, there is a doorman. Looks like he's waiting to take us inside to check it all out. Let's head on in with them and see what is inside this wonderful hotel. The double front doors are both functioning and they will open up. Let's head on in and check it out. The front doorman has led us in the front door of the hotel and here we've come to the front check-in desk. There are so many different details in this particular space. We'll kind of go through them. But let's start with our characters first. It looks like we have our front desk attendant here along with our doorman. Both characters have on the hotel uniform and they have hats and the hats do come off. I'll show you with our front attendant. It just pops up little bit of hat head under there so they need to keep their hat on while they're at work she's got a little bit of blush on her cheeks and then she has the regular hotel or standard hotel uniform same with our doorman so both have removable collars that can slide on and off if you would like to take those off so they don't have a formal collar up top and then just black pants and black shoes and there are two of our hotel workers that came with this summer fun hotel set Let's check out the front entry of the hotel first. Along the side here you can see the elevator. So I'm going to turn it a little bit. It has some sliding doors on this back side. So those will open all the way up so you could come out the back side of the hotel. And this is how guests are going to get up to the second story. The elevator itself will just slide up and down and guests can get from the main floor to the top floor. If we check out behind our front attendant, there are so many different things inside of this front entranceway. It is amazing at the level of detail that Playmobil has for this particular set. Let's take a look at some of the accessories on the front desk. We have a very itty bitty telephone. It's in its base. Our front desk check-in book. This looks like it's a calendar of different events maybe or who's arriving or what's going on so the front attendant can make sure they get everybody checked in. So that sits at the front desk as well. And then on this front desk itself it just moves and slides out. And if we take a look you've got a little computer there so all of the guests can be checked in once they arrive. The back side along behind our front and attendant we have a couple of signs on the wall. We have some binders that are in the shelving and then there is a little safe below here. For our safe there is a little piece that will slide back and forth and it will allow the safe to be opened up. So they can put special items in here and then you close it and you slide this piece back. It's locked. If we move around and take a look at the other side of the front lobby we have a surfboard here. It looks like guests can choose to take this out onto the beach or rent it for the day. It's got a little red piece here and that is so that the guests are able to slide on it so they're able to stand on the surfboard itself. We have a whole bunch of different activity books. So down here this is I'm sure talking about all the different activities that hotel guests can sign up for. And there's our front desk area. Next, 
we have a kid's playroom. The kids can come down here and play, or they could come down here with their mom and dad, I'm sure. And let's take a look at what's inside. So we have a little bucket in here, and inside we have a whole bunch of little toys. We have a very, very small little snail, a very itty bitty soccer ball the kids can enjoy. We have a very small little duck. The last toy we have in there looks like a little hedgehog, but they're just hard plastic little toys. Next we have this carpet. Here we have a little play set of Noah's Ark and it is so cool. It has so many different accessories. So we've got two of a whole bunch of animals. It looks like a rhino. It looks like there's a giraffe head hanging out of there and some elephants. So if we take these guys off the top, inside you can store a whole bunch of the other animals. Little zebra, all the stripies on it. How cute is that? Let's take a look at our lions. We have our boy lion and our girl lion, and you can see the boy has a big mane on him, and the girls do not. And that is our little kid's play area. If we keep moving on, here we are in the cafe, the main level of the hotel. And we have so many different accessories in this space. Over here we have a whole bunch of different storage for some plates and some cups. And like all of the other accessories, everything here is just so itty bitty. It's just a really tiny cup. And it has some little plates there as well. We have one of the cleaning staff here and it looks like she's trying to tidy up the chairs and stuff before the guests come for some breakfast maybe. She's got a little cleaning bottle with her and a little towel to tidy up wherever she is cleaning. She has beautiful eyelashes and some blush and she's got a very pretty collar and she has an apron in the front that just pops right off so that I'll snap off and on and then white sneakers below so she's got comfy feet while she's cleaning in the hotel for the day. We can see in the back area we have a place to get some very yummy drinks. So it looks like we have a coffee machine here. Maybe this would serve some hot chocolate as well. So it's quite a bit of detail there. And then we have a whole bunch of utensils here. Spoons. And then we have some forks. And then we have some knives. Moving on, we have a little table and some chairs. And it's super cute if we turn this. We also have a little high chair. And this little high chair would be used for much smaller guests who are too little to sit at the chair and it has a cute bird on each side and then a spot where a little child can sit. It is so sweet. We have some little juice containers that are sitting on the table right now. So it looks like we have apple juice and orange juice. Along the back you can see we have a whole bunch of different food items. So it looks like we have a container here, maybe that's got some water or some tea or coffee in there. And then we have a whole bunch of trays of food. This particular tray has a bunch of cheese and crackers on it. A lot of detail. Next we have some yummy apples. A little bit of a different tray. And if we take a look at our last set of food, we have some buns. Then along back we have our shelving and this shelving actually can lift right out. And so that could be kept in this space or you can move it around wherever you like. And that is the main floor of the hotel. Let's head on up the elevator and see what's in store upstairs. Looks like we have some guests who are heading up the elevator to check into their room. So let's follow them into the room and check out what's inside. Let's check out these two figures while we have them here. Looks like we have a young girl who is carrying a blue suitcase. Let's just pop that off of her hand and check it out. Looks like she has a little sticker on the side. It has rolling wheels and this little suitcase can pop open. She can put a whole bunch of different accessories in here to store and then it snaps back together. Very cool. So our first hotel guest has a blonde hair with ponytail and she even has a little bow in her hair. And this bow does pop off as well, so she can choose to have it in or out. And I'm wondering, because she has a bow in there, if she's maybe this boy's sister. She has on a hoodie, and this hoodie piece is independent, but it doesn't come off. And it looks like she's got a zipper up the front, some shorts and some cute sneakers with some pink stripes on the side. Next, let's take a look at the little boy. 
he is carrying a skateboard. How cool is that? Pop that off his hand and check that out first. So here is his skateboard. It has some great detail on there. It has real working wheels so he can ride it. And this little base piece here, it's black so it's kind of hard to see, but this piece here allows the little boy to slide his feet on there so he can balance on the skateboard while he's scooting around on it. Cool. Next, our little boy is wearing a cap, and his cap will pop right off. He has brown hair underneath, a nice shirt, some shorts, and then he has some removable sandals. And these are a harder plastic, but they slide on and off quite well, and they do stay on his feet quite well as well. We'll snap his hat back on, and there he is. So his shoes, because they're sandals, will not fit while he's on the skateboard. But if we take him and slide him on in bare feet, you can see now he can stay on his skateboard. Our guests are ready to enter their room and you can see she's holding her key card. Each of the rooms that are in the hotel come with a special key card. And here it is. And this corresponds to the room number, so they're heading into room 101, and it's listed on both sides. And the doors will not unlock without this special key card, so they need to make sure that they keep this on them when they leave their room so they're not locked out. So our guest has put her key card into this blue lock on the door, and in order to open the door, if we pushed on it right now, it's not going to open because it's locked. So we need to push down on the key card and it opens right up. Let's head on inside with them and see what the room looks like. Check out this room. Our guest has just put her suitcase up on the bed and she's going to close the door so that it's locked and nobody can get in to disturb them while they're in their room. There are so many different things in this particular suite and let's check it out. The little boy has hopped up onto this very cute bunk bed and he's just sitting on top here checking it out. I think he's a top bunk kind of kid and there is a lower bunk here. The bed actually does lift up and it does come apart into two pieces. There is some storage under the bed. He's got his skateboard sitting there right now. Let's zoom through these clear swinging doors which will take us into the bathroom. We have a shower so this will lift right out of the bathroom. It is so neat. The upper part has a little spout where the water will come out and the extension down the on off and then it's just sitting on a base so it can rest up in the shower. Along this wall in here we have a sink and a mirror. So there's a mirror up in the top here. It's attached to the wall and we can't disconnect it but it has a little faucet there to turn the water on. And then we also have a toilet. Over here we have a towel just hanging down and then if we check out the other side of the bedroom. On the other side of the room we have the larger adult bed and it has these two side tables on it. This bed is fully movable so you could rearrange the room however you wanted to. We have a whole bunch of accessories. We have a little alarm clock here, another phone around the back, some beautiful flowers and a vase, some picture on the wall. We have a little TV back here on a table. So there's a little TV which looks like it's on a hotel channel right now. A bunch of different languages that are there. And that's just resting on a table in the back that can be removed. There is a little chair back here. And again, most of the furniture in this room can just be shifted around however you like so you can set it up. There is a very itty bitty and adorable camera that our guests brought along with them. It is so cute. It has a little strap here so they can strap it onto their hand and carry it around. And then it looks like we have some snorkeling gear, a little mask, the breathing tube, and it also comes with some super cute flippers. So we have a set of flippers and they will slide on to the little boy's feet. How cute are those? So our guests are pretty tired from their travels. She's going to hop onto the bed and take a little snooze before they go down for something to eat. Now that we've checked out suite 101, 
Let's move down the hall and check out our other suite, room 102. And here is our husband, and let's check him out. He is holding his key card. He doesn't want to leave his hotel room without it. He has on a very bright shirt. I really like that. Has a little bit of pocket detail on it. Then he has on some cargo pants with pockets on the each side and some black shoes. He has a smaller suitcase. It's not as big as the other guests. Has a little airplane sticker on it, working wheels. And it will pop open and allow some storage for accessories inside it just like all the others. We have some flowers up here. We do have a very itty bitty bottle of sunscreen here. SPF 20 so they can be safe in the sun. Then we have a whole bunch of accessories on the bed. Looks like we have a purse. It has quite a bit of detail. It has red flowers on the front and the back, like a little pocket. And it's open so we can put little things in there, like maybe a camera or some water. Very neat. We have a very small sand strainer. We have a shovel and a little rake, and they are just so small. And those fit right into a little pail. We also have a little watering can. So we have a very adorable and itty bitty chocolate brown bear. You can see the little belly button there. It is so adorable. And we have a little sunbonnet. And there's our sweet little guest who must belong to the chocolate brown teddy bear in the little bonnet. She is so cute. She is standing here with her mummy and her mum's about to give her a little bottle. But let's take a look at our mummy first. We have the bottle that can snap in and out, and we have our very pretty mummy here. She's got beautiful eyelashes and some blush. It looks like she's wearing a checkered top here, either a tank top or a bathing suit and a wrap, and it has some beautiful flower detail that matched her purse. And that is our mummy. She comes with some sneakers. They don't come off. They're just permanently on there. Very pretty. And our sweet little baby girl is in her crib and here she is look at her top it has a sweet duck on there and it looks like she has a one-piece orange suit on with no sleeves that's probably to keep her cool since they look like they're somewhere tropical and she is so adorable and so the bonnet that we were looking at fits on her head so you can snap it on and when she's out in the sun she can be protected and there's a little tie detail there so it can be put on snugly. And our little girl does sit, but her arms do not hold anything, so she can't actually hold her bottle, but her mum can hold it for her. And there's our little baby. We have a little baby carrier here with a movable handle. It is super cute, so it can be positioned up or down. And she is able to slide right in here, so we will take her up and we will put her in her little carrier so she can be carried around. The little crib is like a mobile bed and it's pretty neat. So we can pop out this mattress. These two end pieces will slide down and the sides will fold in and so it's totally compact. And then the mattress part can be snapped into the bottom and stored. So the hotel staff can take this to and from the different hotel suites depending on who may be having a small child who needs this bed. We can take a look at the bathroom in this suite. It is very similar to the one next door. The toilet. And the only difference with this one, the lid does move up and down. And the one next door didn't have this extra little piece. And this is a potty training top for our little girl. So she must be learning how to go to the bathroom all by herself like a big girl. I think that that was such a neat detail that they added. If we move along to the outside, this suite happens to have an outdoor balcony. Sliding door here that can open up into the room or out onto the balcony. And out here we have a beautiful tree sitting in the back. And then we have a lounger. So this lounger does not move up and down, but it is reclined. So if somebody was sitting here, they could completely relax. And then it comes with a little white towel that 
could be placed on there. It's kind of fuzzy. And so they could have it on there to make that lounge chair nice and comfy. Wow, the Summer Fun Hotel is truly a jumbo set from Playmobil. I am so amazed at all of the rooms and people and hundreds of cool accessories that have been included in this set. And if you can believe it, we have more. So let's move on to see five other add-on kits that complement the hotel set, and then we can show you how you can use all of the different sets together for a ton of fun. Here is the Playmobil Hotel Shuttle Bus. The set has 66 pieces, and it's an add-on to the Summer Fun Hotel. Let's open it up and check it out. And here is our Hotel Shuttle Bus. You can see our little driver is behind the wheel in the shuttle bus itself. You can see in the background the set comes with a little sign that shows where all of the passengers can come and wait for the shuttle to come and pick them up and take them to the hotel and the hotel is that way so I guess this driver is going to have to turn around once he gets his passengers. The wheels on the bus are actually a very soft rubber so they have really good grip and it makes it very quiet when it rolls and it rolls very easily forward and backwards. And you can see we have one side door on the shuttle bus. It's right here. And if we flip this open and then we can pull it and it swings open just like that so all of the little passengers can hop up right here to get in. And then it snaps shut. Looks like we have a little hole here maybe to fill it for gas or something. And then if we turn the shuttle bus around, you have at the back door, you've got a little hitch here and then the back door is open up. There's actually, if you push on both sides, they'll just pop right open. Or there are little handles here where you can pull it open. And in the back, you can see we have a lower storage spot for all of the different suitcases and luggage that this driver's passengers will have. And you can even fold down this back seat if you need a little bit more storage up top here. If we look at the other side, there is no door on the side, but there is windows all the way around our shuttle bus. And looking at it from the front, you can see our little driver. It's got some nice lights in the front. And you're probably wondering if these side doors open, and they actually do not. So in order to get our driver in and out, we pop off this front windshield and here's our driver. We can just pop him right out. For our passengers to get into the shuttle bus, there's two ways. So we can pop open the side door that we showed you and they can hop up and in. But if passengers had to get all the way to these back seats here, it would be kind of hard to fit them in. So if we turn the shuttle bus on its side so you can see the roof, you can see that there is a full sunroof on the top so that just lifts up and pops off and then you can see all of the different seats so the passengers can come up through that door and then you can have the top popped up and you're able to get them into each of the different seats so you can access all of the seats quite easily in the entire shuttle bus. There is our shuttle bus. Here is our shuttle bus driver and he's carrying his little accessory which is his clipboard which tells us what family he is looking to pick up so it says Hotel Fam Andreas and so I think he's looking for the Andreas family. So hopefully they'll be here soon so he can get on his way and get them back to the hotel. Our little driver is wearing a hotel uniform that he has. And he has a little blue tie in the front and just black pants and then black shoes. And his hat will lift off. So we'll take that off. It pops off. He has a little bit of hat head if we take that off. And there is our little driver waiting patiently for his passengers. It looks like our Andreas family has arrived. Let's take a look at each of them. Here's a little boy, very cute. He's got brown hair and a very cool tank top, some blue shorts and some sandals. Looks like he's hoping to go somewhere hot. He's carrying a cute blue duffel bag, so let's pop that off and take a look. The one side of the duffel bag will pop open and you can store some stuff inside. Very cool. There's his little duffel bag. We're just going to leave that for our shuttle bus guy and he can put it in the back after. Next, our little girl. And she is carrying a very cute green suitcase. You, you can see the working wheels on the back. And it has a cute handle for her to hold. 
and it will pop open and she's got some accessories in there and we'll leave that for the shuttle bus driver as well and our little girl has a very cute ponytail in her hair and she has a very sweet shirt on looks like a horsey on there with pretty hair she's got some shorts and then she has removable pink sandals so both of those come off and they're a soft rubber and so they stay on her feet not too bad and there are her sandals and that's our little girl and she's ready to hop up into the shuttle bus then we have our dad who happens to be carrying the biggest suitcase of all he has a silver suitcase and again it has working wheels that can spin around and the suitcase you can hear there's something inside of there he's got his luggage which is just extra pieces from the set so that pops open with lots of storage space in there and then it pops together and we'll leave that for the shuttle bus driver to load up as well and the dad looks like he has on an orange shirt with rolled up sleeves so a bit of detail there and he has jeans on and some runners he's ready to get his vacation started so he's gonna hop up into the shuttle bus as well there he goes and finally we have our mummy and our mummy is carrying a very cute red and white polka dot purse so let's pop that off and it's open in the top so we're able to store things in there and right now she is carrying a super cute camera and it comes with a little strap that you can put on her hand to carry around as they go sightseeing maybe it's very cute we're just going to pop that back into her purse like that and it's polka dot on the other side as well I'm going to put that down for a second and our mom looks like she has a little bit of makeup on her cheeks and she has a very pretty tank top with some ruffle detail on the top, some shorts and some white sneakers. And there is our mom. And she is going to carry her purse onto the shuttle. So she's going to snap that back onto her hand before she hops up. And in she goes. Our shuttle bus driver is ready to finish loading the last suitcase. And there it goes all finished here's the Playmobil hotel porter with baggage cart it's a 24 piece set which is an add-on to the summer fun hotel let's open it up and check it out here comes our hotel porter pushing his baggage cart oh my gosh he has so much luggage waiting for him our porter himself is in a hotel uniform and he just has black pants and shoes and his collar does turn all the way around if you want to turn it the other way or you can snap it right off if you didn't watch it on his uniform his hat is removable pop it off has a little bit of hat head if he doesn't have it on and I'm sure he's supposed to wear it while he's at work and there is our porter he better get loading some of this luggage somebody must be waiting for it let's take a look at his cart the cart itself has some hooks on the upper portion to carry smaller bags or purses that could be hung there and it's gold on top and then has working wheels on the bottom so he can roll it wherever he needs to in the hotel there is a small gray suitcase here and it has some wheels on the bottom and a handle and it pops right open so there's storage on the inside lots of goodies can be stored in there we'll hang that up on the top here and then there is a big blue suitcase and this has rolling wheels so it can be rolled all over the place especially if it has lots of stuff in it and again it opens up with lots of storage in this one because it is a bigger case and we'll get that loaded up into his cart as well there is another smaller blue suitcase and this one has yellow wheels and that'll wheel around and of course they all have little handles so all of the little people can carry them wherever they need to go and then the last bag that comes with this set is a little white purse and you can see it has some buckle detail on the front same as all the others 
will open up as well. And so lots of storage in that. Our porter needs to get all of this luggage off to his hotel guests as fast as possible. Here is the Playmobil Hotel Housekeeping Service Set. It's an add-on to the Summer Fun Hotel and this 31-piece set looks like it comes with a ton of cool accessories. Let's open it up and check it out. And here's our little housekeeping service set. There are so many cute accessories in this set. And let's start with our housekeeper. It looks like she's already busy working away with her rag here. And that can just pop right off her hand. We can put that into that back bucket. She has beautiful eyelashes and detail on her face. And she's got some blush on her cheeks. She's got a ponytail on the back. And it looks like her apron can pop off. Yep. So she can choose to wear that while she's working or take it off. And she just has white shoes on the bottom. Very nice. We have an ironing board with an iron. So there's the little iron and it looks like a real iron and it has quite a bit of detail. It's just really miniature sized. So that's her iron and her ironing board. It's got a checkered pattern, a little spot where the iron can sit on top. And then the legs underneath, they can be collapsed or if you push them up and they'll just click into place and it will stand on its own. Then we can put the iron in its spot. Then she has a very cool washing machine and this door will pop open. She's already got a load going in there to clean it up. So it looks like lots of things can be stored inside and it just snaps shut. It's got a nice flat top so you can store things on top of there. Maybe like her little laundry basket here, which looks like it has a whole bunch of things ready to get washed. And here's her super cool accessories cart. So this is her whole cleaning cart right here. She has so many different things inside of here. Let's see what she's got. So on this end, it looks almost like it's a garbage bin. So you can see you can put stuff way down in there. And we've got her broom in there right now. So it's just red and it's kind of soft rubbery. So it's pretty good at brushing stuff away if she needed to clean up. So we'll just tuck that in there. If we turn to this side, you can see all of her different cleaning products. And then on this side, she has a whole bunch of things. She has a little green bucket here that pops out and the handle moves up and down. She has a little plunger. She has a blue vacuum here so she can clean up all the carpets or the floor. That pops into its own little spot. She has a dustpan that pops out and then another little small broom. And so this thing as well has some soft bristles on it which would make it pretty neat for brushing stuff up if she had to brush stuff off one of the tables. And that pops right back into its place there. If we turn around there's a whole bunch of little storage shelves and there's an itty bitty mouse here. He does come out of here if we wanted to have him out. We can lift him out. He does have quite a bit of detail on him. You can see his little tail, some eyes, his little ears. And there is the housekeeping service set. Here is the Playmobil Hotel Shop. It has 51 pieces of cool accessories and it is another one of the add-ons to the Summer Fun Hotel. Let's open it up and check it all out. Here is our little hotel gift shop and it is the cutest set ever. It has so many cool accessories. It comes with this really cool clear shelving which has all sorts of different containers to store all of the different items that can be sold to the hotel guests. And here is our salesperson in the shop and she has very beautiful eyelashes and some blush on her cheeks. She is wearing a hat and like all the other hats for the Playmobil set, they do come off. She does have hat head without it so she needs to keep it on while she's working. And her little neck scarf here can come off in the back so you can just slip it right off if you would prefer that she didn't wear that. She's got her hotel uniform on and some black leggings and some shoes. Let's check out a bunch of the other accessories. On the side of the shelving we have a whole bunch of different postcards. And so they go down and there's a whole bunch of different pictures on each of the postcards. And they're all clipped into the case. And so if we wanted to take one off and take a look at it, you can just slide it out and then you can see the beautiful little picture on it. They all have a different picture and if you turn it around, you have a little spot where you can write your note to whoever you're sending it to, a place to put a stamp and who you're addressing it to. 
This set also comes with a magazine rack and so it has a little container that just sits on the floor. It's just plastic and it is kind of slanted so it could hold some magazines or maybe a book or something in there. And then it comes with one magazine that was in the rack and you can open it up and the guests can read about all sorts of fashion and hair products. And it just slides right in and holds into that container. Over onto this side, we have a whole bunch of other types of accessories. And these are more like all of the stuff that we would take down to the beach or at the pool. The snorkeling mask. We have a little strainer to use in the sand. We have a little bucket with a shovel and a rake. A little watering can. We have a whole bunch of different seashell collectibles and some seahorse collectibles. And we have a starfish in the back. If we move up to our top two shelves, we have got a whole bunch of personal products. We have some perfume and some really little sunscreen bottles. This one looks like it's SPF 30, protect from the sun. So there's a couple of those that can be purchased. And then we have a whole little kit here of personal items. So we've got a brush and a comb. And then we have some toothpaste and a couple of extra toothbrushes. And then down onto the next shelf we have a whole bunch of different water or floaty toys. Moving down onto the shelf we have a whole bunch of different playing cards. So we actually have a deck of cards here. And so you can see that there's a checkered detail on the front of the cards and then it looks like there's a whole bunch in the stack here and then you can see the numbers on the back. Very cute. They're just all so itty bitty. Down on this shelf we have a cash register. You can see the detail with the numbers on the front and all of the pretend little buttons and that almost looks like where you'd put your credit card to swipe or to beep something in and we can pull open the cash drawer and there is some real little coins in here and then there is a sticker with pictures of coins and some dollars underneath. And then we also on the shelf have a whole bunch of different crafting type supplies and the little workbooks. And there's even more storage below the cash register. So here we have a little container and it is filled with a whole bunch of little seashells. There are some white shells and then some pink shells. And there is our hotel gift shop. Here is the wonderful Playmobil Luxury Hotel Suite. It's the 150 piece add-on set to the Summer Fun Hotel. Let's open it up and check it all out. We have finally assembled our luxury hotel suite and can be added as a third floor on top of the main Summer Fun Hotel set or you can just use it as an additional garden level suite. Over here we have one of the people that it came with and it's like the room service fellow and it looks like he's bringing some refreshments to the guests in the suite. Let's take a look at our room service fellow. So he's carrying a tray with a little ice bucket with a champagne bottle inside, champagne glasses. Our room service fellow is wearing the hotel uniform with buttons up and down. He has a collar here that can be removed and like all the other Playmobil sets his hat does come off and just pushes right back on black pants and then he actually comes with a plastic little accessory piece here for his feet to slide into. So you can just slide them off and you can see and the reason why he has this is because when he is carrying the tray it actually is quite heavy for him and he will topple over if he isn't on the little platform so that helps him to walk very steady. So it looks like room service has arrived at the luxury suite 201 so let's open the door and head on in and see what's inside. There are just so many accessories in this luxury hotel suite. We have a bed over here with another one of our figures that came with the set and he has blonde hair and it looks like he's wearing a vest and a shirt underneath and some jeans and then some sneakers and he is happy that room service has arrived. And then over here we have a little side table with one of the room keys 
and we have some little itty bitty apples that are in a bowl on the table. Right beside the door we have a very cool golf set. It comes with a little bag and four clubs. So it looks like we have a driver, a couple of irons, and a little putter over on the side. There's a little strap for it to be carried around by. Over on the other side of the main living area, we have some lovely flowers up on the shelf, a TV, and a little chair, and a stool. We have a purse for the young lady who is out on the sun deck right now. She has a little key card inside that purse so it can carry a whole bunch of different things inside of there. And now let's check out the bathroom. There is kind of a clear divider on the wall and so that opens and it can open to either side. So you can make more space either going into the bathroom or into the living room. It's crazy how many accessories there are in this set, but I guess for 150 pieces there's got to be a lot. There's the toilet paper roll, and there's the lid for the toilet, and a little itty bitty scrubber that I'm sure the cleaning staff uses to keep everything tidy. So in that drawer beneath the sink we have a couple of accessories. We have a very itty bitty blow dryer and we also have a very small little comb. So we'll tuck those back into the drawer and close it up. We have a couple of toothbrushes on the wall here. There's a mirror above the sink and some toothpaste. There's some sunscreen along by the big jacuzzi tub. And we've got a whole bunch of different uh, sponges and it looks like some shampoo and conditioner maybe or bubble bath. And then if we continue on through the bathroom, there is another slider door. And again, it'll slide both ways so we can open it up into the bathroom or out onto the balcony. So we have our other guest who is out there right now and she looks like she is enjoying the sun with her magazine. And here she is. She has dark hair and beautiful eyelashes and she has a very cute what looks like a tank top or a bathing suit and kind of like a, a wrap around on the bottom and it slides up and down a little bit and that's to allow her to sit nicely when she's still wearing a skirt. And then she has some very cute white sandals on and these are quite rubbery and they do come off so you can see they're very bendy and they'll just slide off and slide right back on. Very pretty and she's excited to see her husband. And then out on the balcony we have the lounger chair and the lounger chair doesn't fold up and down but it is reclined a bit so someone can sit out there and relax and it does have little wheels so if it needed to be lifted up and rolled around to a different position on the balcony, it certainly could be. And that's the luxury hotel suite. And here comes the hotel shuttle bus. Let's head out front and see who's arrived to check into the hotel. Look, the Andreas family made their way to the hotel. Look, Mom, can I hop on? Oh no, sweetie, not up on the cart. I don't think that's safe and I don't think the porter wants you up there. Oh, it's okay. I don't mind as long as she holds on tight. Here we go. Well, I think that's it. We better hurry up and get down to check out before we miss that shuttle. It was such a beautiful vacation. It was. It's sad to leave. Here's your room key for 201. Enjoy your stay. Gee, thanks. No All right, problem. there's our bags, guys. Let's head out to our room. Look, Jack, a soccer ball. So cool. Kick it to me. Yeah. Oh, I got to go get it. Hey, come on, guys. The porter's waiting to take us to our room. Let's go. Okay, Dad. Dad, why is this car here? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm still cleaning your room. Um, maybe you can head down to the gift shop or the cafe for about 30 minutes. The gift shop? Cool. Okay guys, uh, I guess we gotta go find something to do. Alright, come on guys, let's head out. Wow, look at this toy. Mummy, mummy, mummy. Mummy. Yes, Jack, what's going on? Mummy, mummy, can I please have this cool fish floaty toy? It's so awesome. Yeah, I think that should be okay. Let's just finish up here. We gotta meet up with your dad. Mummy, if Jack has the fish, 
Um, please can I have the seahorse? Oh, please, oh, please. Okay, then that's it. Let's get these two things and let's go meet your dad in the cafe. Okay. Little monkey, do you think that we should test our fans today? Yes. Yeah, okay. So, little monkey fans, if you can remember the name of this little boy in our video today who was taking a soccer ball pass from his sister, then drop us a comment and tell us what you think you remember his name was. Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our treetop, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel.